guys. Hello. <laughs> this is L30 Hertz and Mr. Tuna on 50 Shades of Crates. Crates. Word. <laughs> so, we have received a shirt punch. This is stuff I ordered that I do not recall the contents of. So, we will see what it is that I purchased. Is it a punchful shirt? I don't know if I got any shirts or not. I thought I didn't get any, but you never fucking know what happens. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Is there coke in there? No. <laughs> It was a bunch of comics, actually, if I remember correctly, is predominantly what I ordered. Yes, I didn't know you could get cocaine in the mail. Yeah, you did. <laughs> okay, so this must be like the... It's like a whoopee cushion. And Mr. Freeze's Ice Ice Babies, it's got like, you know, the old bug. I didn't order this, this must be like the bonus thing, and then it's got a Harley Quinn whoopee cushion. Oh, dude, I'm freezing these. We're sticking these in the freezer. Delicious. We're gonna feed them to your wife. Okay. Mm. The bug, you know. Word. You know. So I'm never eating here again. The first thing Unless I got in here was that I ordered was the Punisher comic block. Was that number one? I ordered that one. And then so Sammy, violent. I got this for you. Oh. Plants vs Zombies Time Apocalypse. <laughs> That's Cause probably the coolest thing in there. Because that was available on there. Oh, fuck you too, buddy. Um, what else? More comics. Yep. Boarded and bagged, I do like that. Yep, Superman. Oops, that's not the right way. Dude, Superman. Here. Holy shit. That's on number 50, but that's a, a, a limited run. Howard the Duck, number one. Like, is that a reissue? It's got to be. Yeah, I mean, they, they relaunch it, obviously. Duh. And then, this, uh, this is actually really cool. Like, for people from, like, the 90s generation who know about this movie, which was originally taken from the comic book series, this is pretty cool. And this is the only, place, cool. only place you can get most of these editions. Here's an Uncanny X-Men number one. That's a, a limited run. Is that, like, for... a super early Wolverine there? No, that's Sabretooth, it looks like. All right. Magneto? Yeah. Very cool cover. And then a Deadpool, number one. Deadpool, the Mercs for money. For some reason, this one is bagged and boarded upside down. So. D does it matter how it's bagged and boarded? You're fucking right it does. Are you going to open it and read it? Yes. Well, then rebag and board it. I will. Because <laughs> a lot of these are wrong. This one's backwards. This is Silver Surfer, number one. That's actually pretty sick. Mm-hmm. That's a cool cover. And then there was something, another one that I got for you, Sammy. This is the Tom and Baratheon Halfpenny. Oh, you told me about that. Ours is the Fury. The small brass coin features the boy king, Tom and Baratheon, and the stag sigil of House Baratheon on the reverse. Tom took the throne after his brother, Joffrey Baratheon. Choked the fuck to death on poison. <laughs> fuck that bitch. Here's the coin, celebrating his damn dirty death. Oh man, you hate my. If you watch Paperwork, that show, you box. hate that kid. You hate that fucking kid. He is a piece of shit. He's a good actor. I think that the Punisher, Howard the Duck, the Deadpool, and the Silver Surfer are like... I mean, to well, me, Superman's were kind of watered down. These were in packs, though. There was like two or three of them to a pack. And so that's like cool. that's what I ordered. And then this thing, too, for Sammy and that thing. That's cool. As a collectible, that's very cool. Because she's got one of the other coins, too. And we're just big Game of Thrones fans, so why the fuck not? I think a Rob Stark something. Yep, that is right. The so Stark my question coin. to you, sir... Being that you're the comic collector you are, how, you know, interested are you in, in any one of, of these being that, you know, you wouldn't have had them before? Probably these three. I like the Silver Surfer. Some of my oldest comics are Silver Surfer. I have a bunch of Deadpool. And I've got and a huge, Punisher. huge box of Punisher stuff. Yeah. All the way back to the beginning, so. Very good content. Yeah, and it's like a lot of them, they're all number ones besides this, which is a number 50 annual, so. Yeah, and that and that's a reissue. So. Yep. It's not quite as cool, but... No, and it's like, I, how much was it? Do you even remember? I have no idea. All right, like, right. maybe 30, 40 bucks, yeah. maybe 50, I have no idea. Well, there's solid value there. Yeah, I like them. It's like, I got this because these are things I want. You know, I wasn't expecting that, but that's still interesting. Retail on all of them are like four bucks. So if you add, you know, the book and, you know, the Plus miscellaneous shipping. and stuff mm -hmm. and the shipping... You know, it's, it's pretty good value for what it is, especially being boarded in boxed. Does it's, it say on the receipt in the... You know, 
people people who have I'm to sure board and box their their books or, or their uh, comics definitely know there's value there. So to get them that way is nice. I think you like that one. Same. Somebody went it actually has an individual breakdown of what they claim everything is valued at. So that's kind of neat, too. Yeah, the punch pack was 10, and that's Deadpool and the Mercs for Money, number one, Superman, 50, Silver Surfer, Howard the Duck, Uncanny, uh, X-Men. And then the Mr. J's April Fool's kit, which must be that thing. The whoopee cushion. Yep, and, and then the hugs. this one was like 8 bucks. I mean, I remember that one that I wanted that. And then this was five twenty four, and this was $6 for these coins. So I didn't think it was really that bad, so... So the, the the comics they did is packs. They didn't do individual charges. Yeah, the those. large one was a pack. The fucking X Men, Howard the Duck, Silver Surfer, Superman, and Deadpool. That was all the punch pack. That was one of their specials. Cool. And it was ten bucks for like the four of them, or the five of them. So it's actually less than cover. For sure. A couple of them you can't get anywhere besides through this this method. So. So yeah, I like this. I mean, I'm a big comic book fan, and I have. Uh, I don't have a ton of like Howard the Duck or, or Superman, but still, like when you can get your hands on these at these rates, it's not a bad deal. So. Uh, please follow and like me on Instagram and YouTube, L30HCS. I'm Mr. Tuna on Xbox Live, uh, Facebook, and I want to say YouTube as well. Don't have a lot of videos yet, but we're working on that. Thanks for uh, following. So, and then you are AQTIYQ on camera, and we thank her for her help. So, whoop, whoop. thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time.